Oh, hi there! And welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Welcome back to the stream, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is now evening time. Well, sundown time? Dusk? <laughs> Not dawn, but dusk. Um, so today... Well, we're continuing our adventure, but we're gonna start things off with Amity Square and then work our way eastward. Ugh. I hate how the game automatically takes you through doors if you walk up to them. Like, I want to talk to people before I walk through the door. Which Pokemon would I like to stroll with? Apparently all my Pokemon except my starter are ineligible. Interesting. I actually don't really know what to say about this place. Are they still super snobby about what Pokemon are cute? I don't know. Uh, I need to make like a quick adjustment here on, cause I got like that weird lag again. It hasn't really been lagging that much today. I don't really get it. Like sometimes it's laggy, sometimes it's not. It makes no sense. TM45 Attract. I've used that move before. It was super effective. I have a strange place to cook. <laughs> In the middle of a park in the middle of a flower field. You could use that TM right now. Just get good. It's that easy. Hold on, hold on. You can use the right stick to move the camera around and view your walking partner Pokemon as much as you'd like. I was hoping that you could, like, turn the camera, but apparently that's a no. Kinda strange that they don't let you turn the camera. Uh, you are not who I'm trying to talk to. <laughs> If you've used a track, then I've obviously had the ability cute charm since last October. <laughs> and maybe after this we'll even get voice acting? Whoa, let's not get too carried away. Oh, do you have to actually go into the contest hall to can keep the game moving? Because I was going to just ignore it. <laughs> How do you get to these buildings over here? Or are they just for show? I feel like the Amity Square is really underwhelming. I could have just done this in the last episode. Is 
<laughs> no voice acting in my Pokemon game. I feel like Pokemon is kind of in desperate need of voice acting. Yo. My Pokemon be following. I mean, Zeon did say it'd take five minutes, but like that was really underwhelming. I didn't get Mystery Gift or Manaphy. Uh, I don't have Let's Go data, so... Oh, yo, Mom. Fancy seeing you here. Sophistication. Style. Flair. Yeah, if you're gonna keep flapping your lips on characters, for the love of God, get some voice actors. I get that Pokemon, and by its nature, is kinda hard to voice act, but... Yeah. If Fire Emblem Three Houses could do it, Pokemon can do it too. <laughs> Let me give you this wonderfully fabulous Poffin. Mild Poffin. Don't need Let's Go Data for Manaphy. Oh, uh, which is the one? Oh, it's Mew that you need Let's Go Data for. Uh, send me a reminder after stream, Equinox. Now, I haven't... I I've heard that they made the contests incredibly underwhelming. I don't know if that's true. But, um, I said earlier in the stream, and I'm gonna stand by this, I'm gonna do Pokemon contests, or at least I'm gonna experiment with them on, uh, Wednesday's bonus stream. So, tune into that if you want to see Pokemon contests. Objective, explore Hearth Home. I have a strange objective. Oh! Oh no! I'm not ready for this! It's doomed. From what you've seen online, contests are bad. Yeah, I heard that they basically kept the element of contests that everyone didn't like. Any tips on DM sliding? <laughs> I've learned in my many years on planet Earth that when it comes to the whole uh, dating thing in every way, shape, and form, you can't really force things. And you can't, like, get too bent out of shape. Like, just do your thing, and if it works out, cool. If it doesn't, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Dating sucks so much. Yeah. I can, uh, agree with the sentiment. I mean, look who I have to date. It's so miserable. <laughs> Hey, Ashley. I feel like uh, Peck was the better choice. See you, Real Master. Argo, Real Master. I'll get it right eventually. I'll also actually use the right move next time, too. Dating, getting a partner, now nah, you play Magic the Gathering, your money's gone. See, you're someone who has their priorities straight. Why date? 
when you could play cards. <laughs> I, on the contrary, have plenty of relationship experience, but I've also had no six like well, I mean, I guess success can be v measured in various ways when it comes to dating. But, um... I have not succeeded in the goals that I've personally been striving for. So... From that perspective, I don't know if I'm really qualified to give advice. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things that's just too, like... Every, every situation is different, you know? Like, you could read all the advice in the world, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be right for a particular situation. Was an eye in the stream when you slid into Ian's DMs? Who, Haley? <laughs> Technically, I slid into Haley's DMs first. <laughs> you now have my Eevee? Uh, like I said, get an Eevee to Haley first. It's time! <laughs> Finally! Finally! <laughs> Rosalia looked like so intimidating for a second. She's just like, who? And then she's like, yay. Yeah. That was just so funny. Oh, I love Roselia. Poison Sting. Poison Sting's physical. Interesting. We'll get rid of Worry Seed. That move's useless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ian gave Haley the old, hey girl, wanna see my walkthroughs? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's actually really funny. This messes up your dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever? Yeah, just a bit. I'll be blown away. Somehow I find that one hard to believe. You know, ironically enough, Majestic, I think the first thing that I actually did send to Haley in a DM was just the 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 sheep going bonk. <laughs> I'm like 95% sure that was my first private message to her. Oh, I guess Haley already said that. I missed her saying that in chat. Why does Roselia look like it's drunk? I don't know, but that makes it the perfect Pokemon for me. You know someone that would work on? I know someone who it would work on too. <laughs> He's my girlfriend now. Super Mario Bros. 3, Episode 7 to each female. <laughs> drunk Flower. Should have called it Junk Drunk Flower. 
Alrighty. We are eastbound. I'm gonna put Roselia in front just because I want my new rose petal to get some action. <gasps> this is my favorite route music. I love this song. I also think it's weird that it zooms in the camera when you talk to someone for a battle, and then it, like, goes back to zoomed out. It just seems weird to me. Like, why not just leave the camera zoomed in? It's disorienting. I could have my other mons follow me around. Cool, cool. I'm happy with my Empoleon now. Or Prinplumper. Whatever it's called. You think two people out of your entire class of 32 people play video games and both of them are dudes? Yeah, probably not favorable. <laughs> Those odds aren't very good. I mean, you don't need a girlfriend who plays games. But it certainly makes things easier if that's one of your primary hobbies. Haley doesn't actually really play a whole lot. She just plays Pokemon. <laughs> and the occasional, like, random game here and there. I'm trying to get Haley to play Terraria with me. But she kind of has a toaster of a laptop, so. Like, a literal toaster. Spirit Tomb is awful to get in the remakes. Really? Gotta switch to physics class, everyone plays games. <laughs> yeah, Terraria is an amazing co-op game, that's why I want to play it. Haha, -ha, it's a Badoo. Badoo, Badoo, Badoo. Badoo, Badoo. I have another game that I played forever ago, and I know there's like at least one person in this community that played that, I don't know if he's here right now, um, Torchlight 2. I played it once, but I never got far in the game, but it seems like an awesome co-op game too. Is Badoo poison type? I always thought Badoo was pure grass. Walk through wizard, everyone! Dumb time consuming involves the grand underground. Oh. Fascinating. Am I too lazy to walk back to a Poké Center? Yes, I am. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. Hey, it's a bee barrel. Mm, bee barrel. Um, boo doo da boo dee da boo da <laughs> uh, that's funny. I hope I can get, like, a legitimate grass move on Roselia. I feel like I missed the legitimate grass move on Roselia. Unbearable. <laughs> I'm 
wonder if there's anything interesting here, aside from B-Barrel. I'm getting the vibe that the answer to that question is no. I mean, there's gotta be something new here, right? 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 Calamity receipt. I've never been interested in Calamity because my understanding is that Calamity is just ridiculously hard. And I'm not really interested in playing Terraria for like a hard challenge. That's why I really like Thorium. Thorium felt like a very natural expansion of the game. Your friend sucks at balancing a relationship with friends. I hear you on that one. As someone who has been in many relationships, that is a del that is a tough balancing act from a social perspective. You can get a normal experience. Maybe I'll try Calamity one day. We'll see. I think I want to go back and try uh, Thorium again, though, if anything. I just need three hits for this to be better than Pound, so I guess it's better than Pound. Agility. Probably better than, like, Tail Whip. <laughs> the Good Rod. Didn't I say no, I don't need advice, and he still gave me advice? Alright, this is now a fishing stream. I can't tell if I'm, like, supposed to reel it in when it bobs around like that. Like, it makes it look like you want to pull it in. Oh. Never mind. I figured out how to fish. Aw, yeah. Magikarp. The awesome Pokemon. The poning Pokemon. <laughs> that animation gives you PTSD from Beebass hunting. I can understand that. Can un I can definitely understand that. <laughs> Destruction rains from the heavens. Yo, if we ever actually do a Chrono Trigger stream, gotta let the destruction rain from the heavens. Alright. Fishing stream.
There's a whole lot of not nibbles. Godin! Godin, Godin, Godin. Hey, Wolverell. We were just talking about you. Oh. Awkward. Alright. Fishing stream's over. <laughs> we're, we're done fishing. Get a new Pokemon in front. We haven't used Shadow Bolt in a while. Oh. You don't even battle. Well, that's awkward. You don't battle either. Yeah, I actually forget why we were talking about you. We were talking about Terraria, but that wasn't why I brought you up. I brought you up for a different reason. Oh, Torchlight. I think you're the person who played Torchlight, right? I just pushed Aqua Armor. I'm so rude. Eh, he'll get over it. They do, but only in the early morning. Oh, those, I remember now. Those are the trainers that fight you based on the time of day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming back to me. I remember. I remember. Yes, Haley. What is your idea? For something you can get me for early Christmas? Didn't I already get you a Christmas gift? <laughs> Spare a female Togepi, please. Um... Yeah, no. <laughs> ah, yes. Definitely a Pokemon. Very convincing. <laughs> Let's have a race and see you can get one first. No, because you're just gonna pretend the race and then let me do all the work. I know how this works. She skinned a Pikachu? Okay, I, I cannot deny the Pikachu outfit though is actually like really adorable. <laughs> Like, that's the kind of, like, outfit where, like, if I actually wanted kids and had kids, like, that would make for, like, a Halloween costume or something, and that would be, like, the kind of thing that you'd be, like, posting all over Facebook for the Facebook moms and be like, look at my cute little kid in the Pikachu outfit. What did that do? <laughs> Imagine using Facebook. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, Twitter nowadays is probably even worse than Facebook. But 
I feel like I should start using Twitter because I got a very large response on Twitter when I announced that I was streaming this. So I feel like there's definitely some people who discovered I was streaming because of Twitter. So like, as much as I hate Twitter, I feel like it might be a necessary evil that I need to like, utilize as a tool. Twitter should be designated as a national security threat. You're probably not wrong. I mean, I wouldn't mind, like, putting out random, like, thoughts on Twitter and just, like, completely ignoring it. I mean, people have been pretty respectful on my King of Zill Twitter. Like, I haven't had anyone who's, like, made me think... What am I doing with my life on Twitter yet? Not yet, at least. <laughs> no, Haley. <laughs> Unlike you who gives in to your brother when he whines, I will not be so easily swayed. <laughs> I don't even plan on touching this game when I'm not streaming it. Aside from maybe making a trade. Why are you shy of being considered a millennial? I don't know, that's a great question. One that I don't have the answer for. Howdy, cow girl. How be the bee doof? The cutoff's 19. I actually don't know when the cutoff is. I kind of always saw myself as a millennial. I feel like I fall in that camp. <laughs> Nineteen ninety six birth year, the last millennials. Then what comes before millennials? What am I? This is where everyone's like, you're a boomer, Ian. <laughs> you old boomer, you. I'm a millennial? Oh, it's Gen... It's uh, Gen Z after that. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> or Gen X. Gen Z? Gen... Well, I can't keep track of all of this. I thought Gen X was the older people. Fancy folks like you have fancy Pokemon too, it looks like. I reckon. Am 
my game be laggy laggy -ing. Time to fix that. Uh, one second. Ba -ba -da. Okay, I can barely ride the bike up a straight cliff. How am I supposed to ride the bike up a cliff like this? Oh. I did it! <laughs> Boomers, Gen X, Gen Y, Millennial, Gen Z. I see. I didn't even know there was a Gen Y. I've never heard of Gen Y. You feel like an old man in a young man's body? That's something I can relate to. I've always felt that I'm a little older than my, uh... I don't know. In some ways, I'm, like, still a kid. But in a lot of ways, I also feel like I'm often more mature than people. Well, now that I'm, like, older, I don't necessarily feel that way anymore. But, like, when I was in college and, like, high school, I always felt like I was older than the people around me. I mean, I was running my own business by, like, the age of... Tec like, technically, I started Super Skarmory at 13, but I didn't start making money off of it until I was 16. So, like, I, at the age of 16, I was basically running my own business. Young couple, Sue and Tyler. Young love. It's so cute. Gen Y was where the people who got Yvettel is legendary. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's gonna use Detect and I'm gonna cry. Okay, I don't think it used Detect, because I think Detect takes Pryo even over the Quick Fall. <laughs> that expression does not say I'm sorry. That expression's like, ugh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I only have eyes for Sue. Maybe that's why we lost. I need a hug to make it all better. Oh look, she's acting like Haley. Ian, we lost a battle. Hug me. Ian, get me a female Togepi. <laughs> because I can't find one. <laughs> Please use your valuable time to find me a female Togepi, even though you've had, like, literally zero free time in the last week. Zubat. <laughs> First hand holding and now hugging. Demonetized for sure. <laughs> Wolverine's like, are you gonna take that, Haley? And Haley's just like, yes, because it's true. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It brings a smile to me. 
My eye is itching. This is where, if I was filming it for YouTube, I'd like do that during the battle, and then it'd just get cut out, and you'd never know that I scratched my eye. You wish they remade Platinum instead of Diamond Pearl? Wow! Careful there with that unique opinion, Wolverell. <laughs> there is nobody else in the world who thinks that. Maybe hand-holding does lead places? Hand-holding is a, a very... Spooky thing. It can lead people down the path of the dark side of the force. Watching you play this brings back memories from when you first started watching me on Pokemon on uh, YouTube. Well, welcome, welcome, ghost. I'm here. I'm streaming a lot. You can always tune in. I'm trying to stream frequently and reliably and like get a real good system here going. Also, don't forget to follow my Kingdom of Zill YouTube channel. That way, if you can't make the streams, you can at least watch them after the fact. Haley, our self-aware queen. <laughs> She knows, she knows. The dark side is fun, we have cookies. I wish there was like a way to just like ping the item finder. This is where, like, the item finder with the touch screen was awesome, but the item finder on the poke edge without a touch screen is, like, awful. We also have salad soups and lobsters. No, no joke, um, a long time ago on my stream, we used to have the Zill salad meme. Because when I first started this stream, I played a lot of Hearthstone, and... My mother would, like, want to make salads, so she'd bring me a salad while I was streaming. And I'd have a Zeal salad. Caesar salads are overrated. Zeal salads are where it's at. <laughs> this switch has a touch screen. It does have a touch screen. Unfortunately, I am docked. Because I can't stream if I did it in Hell Hand. Can't. Handheld mode. Oh no, my mind's been corrupted. I'm thinking about helding hands. <laughs> Hand holding. There is nothing more amusing than a big, rough, tough trainer using a cleffa. <laughs> like, look at me. I have a cleffa. Cabbage Curse, yeah, the Cabbage Curse is, I mean, the Cabbage Curse is still well known because I kind of kept the meme going over the years. I kind of stopped eating salads on stream. <laughs> Cleffa is manly. Ah, oh, yeah, Cleffa is just the manliest of Pokemon. Was the Zeal Salad this next step of the old Cabbage Curse? The Zeal Salad came before the Cabbage Curse. That's how old that is. Cabbage Curse started with Skyrim, but I originally, like, started streaming here with Hearthstone. Like, my first, uh, King of Zeal streams were actually Hearthstone streams. 
There's actually five clips on the King of Zeal YouTube channel that were like Hearthstone clips. I set them to private though. But if you guys really wanted, maybe I'd set them back to unprivate just for the, the memes. I know one of those videos, I played a match against a really famous uh, Hearthstone streamer, and I won. And my deck was weak to his deck. That was like, and I misplayed it because the guy was known for playing a particular deck, so I just assumed he was playing that version, but he was actually playing a different version. So I misplayed, and I still won. Pretty proud of that moment. Yeah, he was playing Handlock. But back at the time, I only knew him as the guy who created Zoolock. So I just thought he was playing Zoo, but he wasn't playing Zoo. And this is where everyone in chat's just like, what are you talking about? Ian. What are you talking about? This does not seem like the matchup, but apparently Electric is neutral. This is not gonna hurt. <laughs> I won by pulling a Dennis. <laughs> I mean, I won with Mind Blast, didn't I? Like, double Mind Blast. Because I remember watching it from Raynad's perspective, and he was like, I guess I could lose if I get Mind Blast, but nobody plays Mind Blast. And then I played Mind Blast. To him, I was just a random match, but to me, the match was something special. I also, one of my favorite moments, um, interacting with another streamer, uh, I watch a lot of Saint Vicious, because I like playing TFT, and he played some PBE games um, during the beginning of set 4. And I got to play a game with him, and it was me and him at the end of the match, and I beat him. And I'm, I'm still, I look back on that, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I just remember it because Saint Vicious was just like, he five-headed me. He, he didn't move his units at all. <laughs> he just kept them in the same spot. He's a genius. And I'm like, I am a genius. I actually remember leaving my units in the same spot because I knew he would always flip his units around. So I'm like, what if I just don't move my units? Genius. He in the hidden final boss. I always felt like I like I've always like kind of had the idea of like it'd be really cool to make a video game. I think if I were to ever try to do something like that, I'd probably stick to, like, a Pokemon ROM hack. But, um... I, like, rather than, like... Like, I would want myself to be the final boss of my own game. <laughs> I think that would be fun. If I use Spark here, I am for sure one-hitting hit it, aren't I? Go get him, Fireball. Go get him. Ian is the Emerald Steven of online gaming. I remember when I was first, like, trying to flirt with Haley forever ago. I was like, she's like, oh, Steven Stone's the greatest. I love Steven Stone. Steven Stone is the greatest. And I'm like, you know, I'm kind of like Steven. I like steel Pokemon and stuff. I could be Steven Stone. She's just like, whoosh. <laughs> I 
Then again, it was kind of so bad that I was more or less flirting with her on stream, and everyone knew I was interested in her except her. Not playing Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> Ian shuffles his deck and draws the hand-holding card. Ian is disqualified. Shh. Details. Details. Oh yeah, we probably get Murkrow soon too, huh? Murkrow. Where do you get Murkrow from? My team is really over leveled. Yeah, it is. The good old story of me almost confessing to you on stream when you woke up. Like, you woke up like two seconds late. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a good time. It's in this tower? Really? Huh. See ya, Jella. Alright. Let's see if I can not one shot it. And I one shot it. <laughs> Who could have predicted that? Is it only on the upper floors that you can run into Murkrow? Or like a certain time of day? I know Murkrow is diamond exclusive. I'm playing diamond. Only at night? Ah, okay. Why were we discussing Torchlight 2? Because I was talking about games that I wanted to play with Haley. I want to play Terraria with her, but I also brought up that, like, Torchlight would be... Like, Torchlight, I, I think Torchlight is a good co-op game. Alright, night only. Right, I'll come back and catch Murkrow probably off stream then. Or maybe we'll like catch it Wednesday night, like first thing. Maybe that's what we'll do. Stardew could be a good one. Yeah, I'm interested in Stardew as well. I mean, right now, Terraria would be the first thing. And right now, me and her are just both really busy. Ailey probably won't have a lot of free time until after, like, Christmas break. You can marry your fellow player in Stardew. Nice! Marriage without the consequences that come with marriage. I like it. That's the kind of marriage for me. <laughs> There's no way he's using his OG team from the walkthrough. Yes, my friend. I am using my OG team. I'm trying to suck you people in with as much nostalgia as I can. Please stay around and watch me play other games. <laughs> Please don't come and watch me just for Pokemon. Pretty please. Can I use an escape rope here? He's sucking up to us, panic. Yup. Well, I know a lot of you guys talking in chat are my regulars, so I know you guys. 
watch me regardless. But, you know, there's, a, there's 53 people watching right now. I know some of you guys are lurking. And just because I'm playing Pokemon doesn't mean I don't play other cool stuff. Oh. This should be on somebody. I find it hard to believe I have no escape ropes. Apparently I have no escape ropes. You'll come back just because I asked nicely? Excellent, that's what I like to hear. You're here just quiet? Hey, there's no problem with my lurkers. Lurkers, I, I appreciate my lurkers. I mean, I lurk every stream that I watch, so I don't fault people for lurking. But we don't bite, so you're always free to introduce yourself. Literally just rediscovered me. Welcome back. Unfortunately, and I, I know I've said this a number of times, I know that this isn't quite the same as the old Super Skarmory days. But I do love you guys, and I, I try my best with the time, energy, and resources that I have. Here to say you're a certified worker. Workers are the silent backbones of the community. That they are. Molly used to be a uh, small YouTuber herself, JT. It's understandable that she's streaming. She has her own community. It's a lot smaller than mine, but that doesn't make it any less... Well, like, those people appreciate that community the same way you guys appreciate mine. You can't grow a stream if you don't stream. <laughs> Free of worry. Alright folks, it is 6 o'clock on the dot for me, so this is probably a really good place to leave off for the night. Before people start tuning out, uh, let me give a quick update on what's going on, um, just to remind everyone. So, the guaranteed official streams for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl right now is Saturdays and Sundays. Hopefully at 3 p.m. Eastern. There's always a chance I have to shift it back to later in the night. We are, because it's Thanksgiving weekend, I'm doing a little extra bonus in there. This Wednesday, I'll be doing an exclusive stream-only uh, Pokemon Diamond episode. It won't be uploaded to YouTube. We're just going to explore the Pokemon Underground and try out Pokemon contests, although I hear they're pretty bad. But we're still going to play them. Just to say we did it. So, um, if you want to see that, make sure you tune in. This stream and the other two streams I've done already this weekend, those will be uploaded to YouTube. You can use exclamation mark YouTube to get to the Kingdom of Zill YouTube channel. It's not on Super Skarmory. It's on the Kingdom of Zill. Um, and then... If you want updates on when I'm streaming, I highly recommend you join my Discord server. Uh, that's where I announce all my stuff and things. I am currently in the process of renovating my Discord server. So there will probably be some updates to it, I'm hoping, this week. Uh, we want to reorganize the channels a little bit so that we can stimulate discussion and give you guys a place to post cool things and stuff. So just keep an eye on that. And... Uh, I will actually be back to stream some more tonight, but it won't be Pokemon. 
We'll be playing uh, with. I'll be playing with my League of Legends team. We play Clash every other week on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, it's a team environment. I don't pay really a whole lot of attention to chat because it's like a competitive type activity. Um, I know m pretty much most of you probably have no interest in that, but we do appreciate the people who do tune in and watch. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, it's been an awesome weekend. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. And uh, I know people ask me a lot about, like, why I'm not doing Super Skyrim and stuff. I've kind of explained that uh, in some of the past episodes here. Um, so if you want an explanation for that, I recommend watching the episodes you missed. But... Um, I've been trying to, like, rebuild myself and, like, get myself back on my feet. And this has been a wonderful experience for me. Stressful, but wonderful. So, um, yeah. I hope to continue doing awesome things for you guys. I hope to see some of you on Wednesday for those of you who can make it. If not, we should be back Friday with the next Pokemon Diamond stream. Friday night just because it's Thanksgiving weekend I have bonus time and since I have bonus time I'd like to stream a little bit more anyways that is all thanks for watching everyone have a wonderful rest of your night and I will see you all next time also um my raid button is usually broken um, but my good friend Molly is also streaming Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. So if anybody just, like, wants to watch someone play Pokemon Diamond, uh, oop, I'm gonna get a link and post it in chat to her stream. Uh, I'll try to raid the channel, but like I said, usually it's broken. But if you want to go give her some love, I'm sure she would appreciate it. Anyways, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. And good night. Uh, how, how did I say it on YouTube? I think I just said thank you and good night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And good night.